Hey Legionnaires and welcome back with some more Rome 2 for you today and this is a glorious 3v3 that we have here as you can see some Sicily is preparing for this siege as they have got their troops ready at the walls to hold. They are, for, uh, they are being joined by Galatia and Gete today and they are facing our Verni, Kush and Swaby. So this is going to be a really, really good battle. I can already feel it. But uh, as you can see, there's already been like a little bit of a sally out here. We've got some spear horsemen already charging down some Kushite slave infantry, which have got silver chevrons. Um, I've been told that that's kind of a strategy, like uh, chevron up your uh, like Kushite uh, slaves, and they're pretty decent. As you can see, we've got some Shoto warriors and some Kushite royal guard, or the general coming to try and uh, save their slaves. I mean, it seems seems like that's a little bit unnecessary. These slaves are expendable in this. Uh, in this world, um, <laughs> in the Roman world, anyway. Oh, a really good hit there from the uh, catapult from the uh, Bastion Ballista as it uh, shoots the uh, general there. Really good hit. Also hitting some of these Shotel Warriors. Um, so, yeah, as you can see here, very, very nice start for the defenders as uh, the Spear Horsemen come in. And I have been told this is another, uh, like, really, really close one. This one was sent in by a Crazy Spartan who is a member of my uh, Discord, and he said this is another really close one that he participated in. He is uh, playing as uh, as Masaisley. So yeah, I'm expecting this one to come down to the wire. It's definitely worth sticking around to see how this one goes, uh, for sure. But also, if you're enjoying seeing Rome 2 and would like to see some more uh, Roman action, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and a comment to show your support. Fortunately, we don't have the Romans here today, but... Uh, if you're enjoying seeing Rome 2 on the channel, I would like to see some more. Anyway, certainly feel free to support the channel as we work towards uh, 5k subs. As you can see, the Kushai uh, Royal Guard will probably win this fight against the Spear Horseman. I mean, me heavy melee against very heavy melee. There's only really, really one winner there. Um, and they're actually trying to get away now, these Spear Horsemen. I mean, if they can play this right, they could probably get these Noble Horse. And these Spear Horsemen, they could probably surround this Kushai General. They are certainly focusing it down. I'd certainly now re-engage it if I was a uh, Gete. I would have certainly re-engaged it. They should have uh, done that. Because, uh, I mean, they gave no support as Kush, their General. And they don't look like they're going to carry their own. There's some Riders of the Hunt here, which are like Melee Cav. But nothing, uh, nothing like really substantial in the way of Cav to stop them. So Dacia, uh, or like Dacia or Gete, whichever one you want to call them, maybe, uh, like, have the advantage in that. Uh, in the cavalry department anyway, and there's a, yeah, what's it, it's an African scorpion back here. Interesting to bring this as an attacker because the scorpion's not really what you want to bring. You can't knock down a wall, um, it'll just snipe some people, uh, like snipe some defenders, which is, I mean, could be useful, but, I mean, for like, if there's pikes, but no, none of these factions are pikes, so does it really matter? Not really. Got see a lot of Numidian light infantry going to be the first into the, uh, into the fight, it looks like, against chosen swords. I mean, it, that's if they send them in. It's mediums versus heavy. I don't know if it's really worth sending them in. Uh, the, the chosen uh, swords are getting jabbied currently. Well, they, well, they were. These guys have decided not to throw their jabbies. Here we go. And here we go. The first class of in infantry is about to begin by the looks of it. There we go. First class of infantry. And in go the Chosen Swords. Very nice to see. I mean, now, I mean, they're making a breach in the wall, so they don't need to necessarily use the towers. I mean, they want to, but still. They want to just blob up in one area, make it very easy for, for the defenders. That's kind of what they're doing. As you can see here, Daisha is going to just put this Mercenary Axe Warrior into the wall. Uh, like, sorry, uh, here. And then uh, all the towers, as you can see, are to the uh, left of this position. So they're already kind of bunched up in this spot here. That's like kind of being formed. If uh, Numidia can bring this unit across, they can like kind of like confine a lot of the army, like the enemy forces, to this small area here, which is a bad move. Obviously, Kush still has like towers, um, which they need to be aware of. But I mean, they can harass them with uh, with cavalry, which they seem to have the majority of. So already the defenders are looking in a really good spot. But, I mean, obviously the quality of infantry is still with the attackers. Like the attackers are setting in the, like some much more superior infantry. I don't know if these uh, light infantry can really hold forever. I like how they're Numidian light infantry, but they're actually a medium uh, medium infantry unit. Like that's what they count it as. Don't know. Mm, I guess they can hold here as well. The Galatian, like the Galatians, they don't need to necessarily hold here. It's probably a better choke point actually to hold. Um, but they are like cutting off like these one, this two, and three choke points here. Really are, like 
not suffocating, but they're like penning in. That's a better, better word. I don't know why I was thinking of suffocating. Penning in, like uh, certainly Arverni and most of Swaby as well. Like they're just uh, like setting everything in. Arverni especially, just chucking in loads and loads of chosen swords uh, instead of thinking, why don't I just send like a tower around here? Like just trying to expand the battle, try and stretch out the battlefield as much as possible. Did they bring like a ballista? They did. Brought a giant ballista. Not a bad idea. So did uh, so did Swaby. Not a bad idea. I think one would be ample. I don't know. As you can see here, we now got the uh, Celtic factions fighting each other. Glacier versus Arverni. Some very heavy infantry against heavy infantry. See how these legionaries do. I imagine the legionaries would come out on top, mainly because uh, oh, they're actually losing slightly on this one anyway. I would have thought they'd uh, win because uh, Chosen Swords are already weakened. And also because of like, the uh, heaviness. So here you go. Finally, as you can see, Swaby's already thinking. You know what? I need to get a unit behind this combat that's currently going on down here. And we have Mercenary Axe Warriors facing Bloodsworn. Pretty even fire, I can imagine. And there you go. They're falling back. And here you go. As you can see, Deja's having to fall back because he realizes uh, that we've got... Some sword masters now landing. And they're gonna have to deal some do uh, do some magic here to try and pin everything back. What we got here? Round shield uh, swords coming in. And Swaby's now engaging Glacier over here. So Glacier's firing on all fronts at the moment. How's that cavalry doing? Is that cavalry really doing anything? No, the cavalry's kind of like gone off and hidden in there. I don't know. What, I mean, they've still got one bit of cavalry here, which is the noble horse. It's gonna go flying on against these uh, riders of the Hun. So this Rise of the Hunt will not fare well. It's melee though. As is the Kushite Royal Guard. Now would be the time if I was Daisha. Yeah, I think he is. Yeah, you can see Daisha's now mobilizing his spear, kept the horses. So all that like this noble uh, horse needs to do is hold on for long enough. And uh, I'd probably yeah get some support here, get some Dacian heavy bows, focus this general down. There's really nice play here by Daisha. Really, really nice. Using his carry to bait in stuff. We've got some Bloodsworn already breaking over here. It does look like they've just been uh, stood there, just being shot. Yeah, it looks like that blitz one's just kind of been wasted. Galatia looks like he's also sort of survived here, but it looks like it's been a mix of uh, Arverni falling back, really, and Galatia sort of put, uh, winning. Galatia's certainly winning over here against his Raud Shields. Uh, the general is now retreating again. Once again, he is, uh, I don't know, given up. I mean, the Noble Horse took only nine casualties. I, I would personally just, like, if I was a uh, Daisha, I'd start to be really aggressive. I'd be really aggressive with my cab, trying to see what I can find. See if you can find uh, archers. See if you can find like artillery like that, for instance. The artillery crew back there is a very nice target. Um, wouldn't go for things like armored Chotel. Go for archers, like I said, maybe light infantry. Like most of the uh, Swaby armies, like light infantry. As you can see, you got Bloodsworn here. You got um, you got the oh the hex bearers. What they've just disappeared now. What got here? What has spears? These are pretty nasty unit from what I remember. They seem to be uh, used quite a lot. These round shield these round shield swordsmen are really struggling against legionaries. I'm not surprised. Though. Look at the armor difference. One has shirts on, one doesn't. What's breaking over there? New in light infantry again. Nothing nothing major then. What we got here? We've got desert legionaries already coming up though for uh, for uh, Numidia, and you can see Chosen Swords starting to break, so it looks like, uh, yeah, it seems like the Chosen Swords are starting to lose over here. Galatian legionaries starting to show their quality as this battle goes on. Artillery oh, going flying in, going after the reserves, going after these desert legionaries. I certainly wouldn't want to be blobbing stuff up. I'd be hiding stuff behind buildings. You've got to make it hard for artillery. You've got to frustrate artillery. Um, make them almost regret bringing their artillery because, uh, well, that's just what you have to do, really. And it's good to see these desert legionaries here look like they're going to flank the Chotel unit. Maybe. I don't know. I'd certainly throw Javis in the back of it. Don't know. They might do that in a bit. Yeah, here we go. Oh, no. They're throwing Javis into these, uh, these Swaby troops. Also, a pretty good target. These sword masses point blank range. Losing decisively. But it seems like the are starting to win over here are the... Uh, are the attackers. They are turning it around slowly. 
And now this Desert Legion is now in combat over here with uh, Swordmasters. I'd imagine the Legionaries will win, but uh, as soon as like, these Chotels get involved, that's when it gets dangerous, because they've got really good armor piercing. They really need to get Gete, I think, or someone like that up against uh, Swaby. I'm uh, against, uh, sorry, against these Chotels. I'm surprised no one played like uh, like a Celtic faction or a low armored faction. I would have thought maybe Gete, maybe, maybe could maybe be a low match. I don't know, a good match, but I don't know. But here you go, the Cavs doing what I said it needs to do. Going after Hexbearers. Getting a look at the numbers drop. Really good. And now there's, I mean, they're shooting longbows at them. That's, that's all well and good. But I mean, that's what the cavalry wants. Wants to kill, the, uh, wants to kill them. Again, the Kushite Royal Guard may be tempted to come forward. I mean, that's all well and good. I feel like they, that's what they want again. Oh, these no noble horses are starting to lose though. They may be sacrificed just to kill one hex bearer off. Really, they should have just charged in and got out. Like, there's a shock cab. They don't do well in combat. Nice charge there. Oh, I kind of missed that. I do apologize. But the unit's been knocked down. Look at that. Got absolutely knocked down. And you can see now that I think the cavalry's kind of spent now. It might get this archer, though. It might get these archers. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's almost certainly he's going to get these archers. Down to 48. Broken. And then this one's down, going dropping as quick and as quickly as well. Uh, I mean, there's more archers now focusing them, but I mean, taking two archer units that was pretty handy. And I took a hex bear out as well, I think, as well. So I mean, not a bad win for the cavalry. I mean, it would be nice if they got the Kushite general, but it certainly probably like weakened that really a really really strong faction, which is at the moment kind of destroying units over here. These showtails are uh, causing a lot of issues. A lot of issues. Why does this guy just pull the pill out at point blank range? Don't do that. Yeah, you deserve to die for that. You fool. Don't use a pill at close range. It's noble swords holding on. This is a solid unit. This is what I would have thought. I'm not sure, but I would have thought that the uh, the noble swords would have been a really good match um, against like Chotels, but I may be wrong. Um, right now, if I was, uh, I've been pushing forward archers, like trying to shoot this Kushite general. Seems like uh, Daisha's not also giving up fighting over here. He's, he showed tails, are actually doing quite uh, a poor job against the Axe Warriors. So maybe the Axe Warriors are a pretty good uh, match for show tails. I'm not sure, I can't remember like Daisha's stats really. I, or like Gete, whatever you want to call them. It's basically what they are, is Daisha. Played too much, <laughs> played too much uh, Rome one recently. Just back with the old basic names. Yeah, this uh, new minion like legionary, this desert legionary here is getting surrounded and murdered. I don't know how many kills it got. Forty three. Oof, that's not good. Not good at all. As you can see over here, oh, glaciers having to send in uh, skirmishes. I uh, hopefully they were out of ammo. They're gonna get cut down though against these chosen swords. They're also fighting here. They're losing though against this is more fresh uh, late legionnaires coming up. As you can see, this oh my god, there's so many legionnaires. It's such a good defensive faction to bring. Is Glacier? You got to just spam out these legionaries, and they should be able to hold against like the things like uh, O Sworn and certainly most of the uh, like the Swavy faction. It's just Kush that I'm a little bit concerned about. Kush is just notorious for armor piercing. Uh, they got a lot of pikes, so they've got. Oh, this is heavy horse. Where was this heavy horse when there was the uh, Dacian cab just causing havoc? Like, this heavy horse was needed. Um, armored show to warriors, Kushite pikes. There'll be plenty of armored show tails to, uh, to come, I'm sure, as well. Seems like they are shooting into a big blob. They've also got Glacian spears down here. Oh, I thought this was more like legionaries. This is just Glacian spears. Well, they're not going to hold. Well, it's unlikely that they'll hold. Still holding over here. It looks like uh, Gete's also pushed back Swaby. Well, I mean, it was originally Kush, but it's now Swaby here. Yeah, these uh, Noble Swords seem to be doing, a, doing the work. They don't want to overextend, though. They need to, like, just hold their choke points that they feel comfortable holding. Looks like they're just going to reposition. Not a bad idea.
I love this little duel going on here. It's so fun watching little duels sometimes. So they're forming shield wall and they're preparing to hold here. They're getting shot in the back though, this or in the side. They need to retreat. Or they need to get their archers up of their own. But I mean there's so many uh, like Kushite bows here, they're just gonna take advantage and just shoot that noble uh, noble sword in the back. Actually they might be shooting the archers now that the archers are coming up. The Asian heavy bows. I just fall back the uh, no uh, the noble swords. I don't bring up another one. Don't bring up another one. Just fall back the noble swords. Fall back to here like you were, and then you'll be fine. Because like as you can see, look, uh, there's some berserkers that are just about to be landed on this where this heavy uh, heavy bowman is. Look at they're falling them back. Just get these uh, noble swords into combat as well. Noble swords winning over here, helping to turn it around. These uh, sword masters can chop down. Still seems, like it's, still seems like the defender's got a better chance. Balance power is actually in favor of defenders at the moment. But I don't know. I mean, Kush is just... Those uh, armored Chotels, I mean, are just nasty. It already seems like Swaby's throwing in their... Uh, throwing in their general. Lidri's holding the line. Just... This is now... Um, this might be Desert Cohort. I'm not sure. No, yeah, it is. It's Desert Cohort. I thought, I thought it was with the... Uh, the um, scale armor. Hold the line against the uh, Swordmasters. I mean, they should win that as well, really. But I guess maybe the Chotel and the uh, Desert Cohort's been in there a little while. So like a V. Look here, there's like a, a V, almost, not like a, yeah, it's almost a V. More like an L. L for loser to the def That's they're just insulting the attackers. Look, they're really jabbing down these uh, poor, like, uh, chosen swords, though. But yeah, so basically, if you attack, like, head on here, you get flanked. And if you attack the flank here, you get flanked here. So you need to kind of, like, do both at the same time. But this chosen sword's just going to go in on its own. And it's going to get attacked in the flank and the front. It's going to get murdered, basically what's going to happen. There's nothing... I mean, they're not bringing armored shotels up, luckily, but they are, weren't bringing up anything immediate to deal with it. Like, to deal with any sort of potential flank. But the unit's, like, stretched out long enough that it has actually kind of contained a bit of the Galatians over here, as you can see. But not much. Really, the Galatians could just move in and just wipe them out. Look how many Galatians are being thrown in here. Also, I mean, like, if they're patient enough, Galatia, they could just flank here. Like, if there's, like, the attacks start to run out of reserves, like, you just flank that, and you just go around the back and just encircle them all. Um, but talking about reserves, I mean, they still got fairly a decent amount, actually. Falksman still left. They've got a uh, new median noble infantry. They've got more uh, cohort. More legionaries. Yeah, they still got plenty of stuff. I'd like to see a few more noble swords. I think they do a good job. As you can see over here, the legionaries just cutting through these lower armored, uh, like, Ger Germans here. The Swaby just not up to the task. Also, plenty of arrows flying in. Well, I believe they're arrows. They might be javies. Uh, tribal slingers. I think they might be... Uh, oh, no. There's archers over here. Syrians. It could be a mix of... A mix of everything, really. They're really focusing this general down. This swordmaster in there. Not a bad idea. Here we go. It looks like we're going to see the first introduction of armored Chotel warriors. Probably one of the scariest units in Rome, too. I certainly am very scared of them when I see them. As you can see, they're, uh, again, trying to make that sort of, like, uh, V formation. So if this unit goes in, they can flank. I mean, the Galatian Spears, I imagine, are pretty good counter to these Chotel. They don't look... They were, didn't look too armoured in comparison to their legionary, uh, like, colleagues. Here we go, Armored Chotel's in. Fighting Gla Oof. Okay, fair enough. The Glacian Spears, I take it back. Glacian Spears, not a match for the Armored Chotel. Losing decisively already. They 
trying to flank him though with a weakened legionary, but I mean that's not going to stop him. These legion, these armored Shoto warriors are just hard to kill. Another one coming in anyway to just counter that flank by uh, Glacier. Setting into a bit of a mess down here. Armature Hotel's winning here. Melee, even over there. Look at this. The defenders have pushed out of their choke point over here. And they're now pushing back. Going after Gallic Hunters. I presume then the Swave. Yeah, Swavey's out. Swavey's generals died at some point. Yeah, it doesn't seem like their general's dead. He just routed. If you just hover over the units. And you can see now we've got like Oswan coming in. Armature Hotel. They're really wanting to push them back. I mean, this is going to be interesting, certainly. Got Armour Chotel over here getting surrounded. I didn't even realize this unit was in here. Getting surrounded by uh, Noble Swords and Galatian Legionaries, I think. No, more Noble Swords, okay. And we've got Desert Cohort in here. This is how you kill Chotel off. You surround them and kill them like this. Now it looks like, yeah, you can see Glacier tried to commit for the flank. I think it was a little bit too early. I mean, yeah, a lot was committed, but there's still a few units. I'd wait. You want this flank to have been almost uncontested, but it is getting contested, and it's been contested by armored hotels. Probably, probably the worst thing you want to contesting it, since I don't think Glacier Legionaries can beat them. I might be wrong. I mean, they are losing, but that's only because of the flank. This unit is soon about to get counter flanked, as you can see. By uh, Oaksworn and by more Armored Chotel by the looks of it. Unless... No, they look like going this way. Armored Chotel are, yeah, getting pretty beaten up. I pumped these units up and they are getting vaporized. I mean, they'll take units down with... They'll take plenty of men down with them while they're losing. Going in, af going in after these uh, Galatian Spears, not a bad target. Again, I'm just surprised no one kind of went a proper faction to count them. Like, I haven't really seen Daesh, uh, like, apart from that one Shotel unit there, Daesh has barely fought Kush. It's really been Mercedesly in Glacier. I mean, Glacier's not a bad counter, I imagine, but still, you want other stuff. I'd start bringing up the, uh, the reserves, really, if I was uh, the defenders. Like, I don't think you're going to need them back there. Also, you just need them close anyway, because they're kind of running out of other stuff, really. I mean, this Mercedesly's got plenty. A bit for a Glacier and Gete, but not much. Over here, they're in a bit of trouble. They might want to start thinking about uh, sending some forces around here. This uh, Desert Cohort may want to be transferred. Oh, as you can see, look at this. Kush is making a comeback. I don't think it's over yet. I think Kush has still got, still got uh, some tricks up his sleeve. And, I mean, the comeback's on. It's still got plenty of time in it, I just realized. So, I mean, yeah, the defenders are not yet out of the woods. Glacial Legion is getting cut down. You better just to stand your ground. Stand your ground and instead of just getting cut down like this. You're losing. Look, this unit's losing so many men. So, is this one. Stand your ground. I mean, now's a good time to go in. They've kind of managed to get these uh, Oswald kind of flanked. We're going to jabby them in the back. Not a bad idea. They need more troops over here. This is a real concerning area now. Now you need to get a uh, tribal slingers are not going to be the answer. Desert cohort might be the answer though. They need to get over there quickly. This is where most of the defending forces are now, all blobbed up here, in a bit of a grind. I feel like this is fa certainly favours the uh, more elite troops like the uh, Amish Hotel, Oswald. Apparently, this Oswald was winning decisively. It's come back to even. Certainly, feel like the uh, defense. Yeah, the defenders look like they're losing this. 
Yeah, every single unit here for the defenders is losing decisively. They're just getting cut down. They need, uh, they need like, the archer support again. They need to get, like, some sort of archer support to help focus these units down. Because they're really struggling. Over here as well, you can see Osworn and uh, Armature Hotel surrounding this legionary. They're not going to not gonna survive. Uh, I'd start thinking if I was the defenders to fall back. I think they've done everything they can, they can here. They need to start falling back. Uh, if they've got ammo left, they need to start falling back to these two choke points and just frustrate the... Uh, Frustrate the attackers as much as possible. Because they've done a lot of damage to them. They've taken out Swaby. But these two, like, last two factions are far too strong. I don't think they can hold him much longer. Like, just get stuff out. You've got quite a lot of healthy units. Don't keep sending them in to this meat grinder. Because right now, Kush and Arvoni are just winning this meat grinder. I may be wrong. If they stand here and they win. I'm going to so... <laughs> I'm going to look very silly. But uh, I think they need to fall back. Certainly because... This choke point's about to fall. I mean, they may be able to sort of patch it up in a moment. These uh, Desert Cohort are just kind of arriving just in time. But this one over here, they are losing. You can see a lot of wavering going on here. They just need it. If they fall back to that, those two choke points at the back, it'll be frustrating as hell. I mean, they've got pikes that would come up of the, uh, of the attackers. They're, they're only Kushite pikes. They're still pikes. You see it from a bird's eye view as the... Uh, Kushite Chotel Warriors cut through these uh, Glacians. I mean, they're not really cutting through them too quickly, but uh, they will win eventually. Because just... Glacier put the f had the foolish idea of putting his armor on. If you didn't put your armor on, you'd be fine. That's a point, that's a point actually. Um, that's a very, very good point. If they can keep them out of Archer Fire, which in fairness, it seems like Kush is... I don't know. Kush is using a lot of his archers on, uh, Archer Fire on... Uh, the skirmishers back there. These Falksmen could be the perfect counter to uh, Armored Chotel. These men are the epitome of having no armor. These guys are literally just got their Falks in their hand and that is it. They have, they're going in with whatever they're wearing and uh, some of them look like they've just come out straight out of the shower or something. They've only put their trousers on and they've, uh, they've gone into battle. So, I mean, they may be the perfect counter for the Armored Chotels. I mean, they, to be fair, the Armored Chotels are not looking... There's not many of them left that are healthy. I mean, this one's fairly healthy at 111. The other one's down at, like, in the, uh... Well, one's at 90, I saw. The rest are, like, 60s or below. So, I don't know. Maybe they'll be okay. I don't know. It's so close as hell. New Minion Nobles are certainly holding. The cab over there doing its best. And you already can tell these Desert Cohort are just getting... Oh, that one's winning. You can imagine this one. Oh, this one's winning as well. I'm kind of surprised. I would have thought certainly with the armor that they have. These uh, armor show tells are certainly going to be uh, taking them to even. Maybe they're just too tired and too banged up. Too tired and too weak. But we're about to see Arvodi's Cav come into use. I think it's going to go around the back, probably try and flank these units. Uh, we've got more Oswan coming in. These uh, Desert Cohorts are to lose now, though. There you go. And this Oswan's falling back for some reason. Desert Cohort losing decisively. It's going to be interesting. I mean, they can rear charge anything to this Cav. They can rear charge these uh, Legionaries over here. Go after anything. But they probably got. I mean, if they go for anything, it would go from these, uh, yeah, these Desert Cohort. Decent charge. And the other one's going to get probably a better charge, to be honest. Because this cohort here is losing uh, losing to the uh, general here. So, already in trouble. He may need to send in Glacier's general. And get some spears over there. Yeah, certainly get some spears. Deal with this cavalry. But already wavering uh, legionaries, or cohort, I should say. It's a bad sign. They just don't like being surrounded. I mean, who does? In all honesty, who does? Probably Rome. Rome probably loves it. Rome probably just goes, you know what? This is more enemies to kill. More people to kill. But there you go. That's one gone. The other one's about to go as well, you imagine. It's losing decisively. We've got a general also uh, over here. It's Kush's general. They, captured, they have actually captured this gate. Yeah, and there you go. Glacier's thought better about it and it's falling back. And uh, bizarrely, I mean, Glacier's falling back his Syria and archers and stuff, but no one else is falling anything back, really. Well, these legions might be going back, but... They do need to start piling stuff back, I think. No, the Legion's just going in because they're flanking uh, Arverni here. 
However, I've only got left in the chosen swords. They're just broken. They could now flank the. Uh, I'd quickly flank these Chotels before the pikes arrive. The pikes getting bogged down by something. Oh, they're getting bogged down by archers. These heavy skirmish. Oh my gosh, these heavy skirmishers routing everything here. These guys are pretty handy. I need a fight. Yeah, now because of those heavy skirmishers, they're able to flank these armored Chotels and uh, mop them up. So that's really well played there by the defenders. Sacrificing one unit to uh, kill off a much stronger one. Those heavy skirmishers, they did their bit. So they look like they're... Uh, oh, they've got Collation Legionaries there as well. They carry those, causing a lot of issues. Heavy horse here, though. Need to be got rid of. Apparently they, they were losing that fight all of a sudden. This Desert Cohort is somehow holding on. Absolute madmen. Or maybe not now, though. Yeah, Kush's general flying in may, may be the, ha the, uh, the nail in the coffin. It looks like it is as well. Um, they are, they're, they've broken, yeah. Okay, I so I'm sorry, New Media. I shouldn't have said that. It's cursed. Jinx, uh, your, uh, Jinx what was going to happen here. These Oswarn are cutting down the Noble Swords, though. They need to get like they need to fall back. These Falksmen as well, being forgotten about, might as well get sent in at some point. No ends of pikes though, which are now in combat. Kushai pikes now coming up. And they need to flank these guys because even though Kushai pikes aren't the greatest pikes from fighting other pikes, when there's no pike other pikes on the battlefield, I'm sure they excel. the hell out of there. I just get the hell out of there. Don't engage those pikes. Just try and flank them. Need to retreat until you can flank them. But I don't know when they're going to have the chance. I mean, maybe now. Yeah, if this noble infantry stands here, this Durza cohort has the chance of uh, flanking them. It's a rough one. It's a it's a hard one. Certainly uh, going to put the uh, defenders in an interesting position. I just fall everything back right now to uh, this position. you still got archers. I don't know if they have ammo. Let's have a look. You can tell if they've got their swords out. They have bows out, so they have ammo. This is huge. I think they get this... Yeah, they fall back, get the uh, get the archers into play. They need to get these Falksmen doing stuff. Maybe they're going to hold them in this... Oh, are they going to hold them in this forest and wait until everyone starts attacking and flank? If so, that's a great move if it pulls off. And the balance power, by the way, is now even. It was slightly in favor of the defenders earlier. It's now even. Um, New Million Noble Infantry just sacrificing themselves. To let everything, everyone else get back. Such a fresh unit as well. Would have been very key for the defense. As you can see, it seems like uh, the defenders finally been pushed out of these choke points. I mean, so many dead here. So many dead. First in this choke point, then like, over here. I mean, this choke point, I mean, this area over here is just littered with bodies. Look at them all. So many. Oh, it's good. It's a good bloody Rome 2 siege for you. And I'm sure you guys are enjoying it. If you are, do remember to leave a like, subscribe around here, and... Uh, Feel free to support the uh, channel with a comment as well. Looking awesome. It really is a really, really nice uh, Rome 2 seat. It's nice to be back in Rome 2. I don't play it enough or show it off enough. But you do get some really epic sieges sometime, sometimes. And it seems now that we're just going to have to wait for the attack. So I might just fast forward while we wait. I imagine uh, they're just mopping it. Well, I don't know really what they're mopping. I'm probably just thinking what they're going to do. In all honesty, they just have to send, uh, probably send the infantry up, and then the pikes. Have these tribal slingers got ammo? As you say. I'm going to say yes, they do, because, I mean, they don't have the uh, model of a sling, but they don't have their swords out. So I'm going to presume that they have ammo. So those tribal slingers having ammo is huge as well. There's a cohort retreating over there. They, uh, they'll be fine on their own, because they've got all those falcsmen that are hidden. Be interesting. Still got Kush's general. He's been in a few scrapes himself. I'm surprised he's survived this long. And yeah, as you can see now, we've got 
Kush and Alverni just thinking, what do we do? Swaby's long gone. Looks like we're going to see a small little expedition from some chosen swords. Test out the defenses, perhaps? Or just a sacrifice? A sacrifice of the blood god. Blood for the blood god. Oh, and it seems like, yeah. Seems like the noble swords are really eager to get a fight. That's a general unit as well. Not really sure what, uh... Oh, yeah, here we go. They're going to try... Yeah, I don't... This is what they want you to do, though, Gete. Don't do it. Don't fall for it. They're luring you out. They're just waiting, really. Just waiting on, uh... First, oh, this will be handy actually. Yeah, now is the time for Kush to bring up this scorpion. I forgot all about this and so much else stuff has gone on. This scorpion actually might have some use now. They could just snipe uh, anything that's in this choke point. Which in all honesty, yeah, they're now falling back so many stuff yet. You can see the scorpion's already firing. Don't know if it's hit anything yet, but it's uh, this new Numidian noble infantry looking the wrong way. You might want to turn around, boys. Yeah, they're just going to get sniped otherwise. Scorpion missed, though. They didn't kill anyone. Yeah, there it is. Scorpion missed. This seems like a waste of money because you've missed how many shots now. Come on, get closer. You might as well at this point. Well, actually, I say that. Don't want to get closer. They still have a general uh, cav unit and... Uh, at this point, Glacier might as well sacrifice it to uh, take out that scorpion. What are they doing? Are they? Yeah, where are you moving it now? Not really sure. Not sure at all. I don't think they're going to bother with it. I think they're sending forward the infantry now. Well, that's a shame because I really wanted to see that uh, scorpion in action. Here we go. Seems like Kush and Arvoni gonna send forward their infantry. I mean, he's exhausted though. I just, I'd have waited. Did the Scorpion crew just get off its Scorpion. Why? What are you doing? What are you doing? Just go in. All right. I'm just gonna fast forward again. Seems like uh, Kush and Arvoni just taking it slowly. I feel like as soon as. Uh, Kush gets back on this, like they're going to put something into this uh, choke point again. Kush will get back on his scorpion and they'll leave the choke point. Also seems like, uh, I mean this is not a bad move, I mean if they come in you can flank them on both sides. It's a risky one because obviously the, the holding the one choke point works very very well. But maybe better for the pikes if the pikes get committed. Because then you can flank them. Oh, that arch unit just broke there trying to take the towers. That was smart of it. Come on. I want to see you go in. They're really taking their time, though. I mean, now they're down to winded, fresh, winded. Yeah, they could probably go in again. They're not, like, exhausted like they were earlier. And they, yeah, they are actually now. I think that's what they were waiting for. I think they were waiting to get some sort of, uh, like, energy back. It's not a bad idea. Now it would have been handy to have the, some artillery that they can knock down a wall because that would have certainly uh, opened it up. I mean, both sides are really short on infantry, though. Yeah, the tribal slingers are not interested in the Zoe Sword. I just, if, you, if they've got ammo left, they have one target. That's the pikes. But as you can see, they're going to have to just go in. They're going to get flanked, I think, from either side. Yeah. I don't think... I don't, mm, oh, he's going to burn the towers. Not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea at all. I wouldn't give him the opportunity, though. I'd rush him now. Yeah, get the charge. There you go. Charge in. Deny uh, Arvoni the chance to... Uh, yeah, here you go. Now in combat, the uh, tower survives. Tower survives for now. Oh, they're still, they're still able to throw uh, torches. Oh, it's 80%. They're going to burn that tower for sure. And also, I mean, they kind of like let the Noble Spears, they've done a good job here. 
they kind of like let their flank left their flank open, so they're going to get shot in the side. I presume this guy comes to slow ammo. No, they have their swords out, so they're just going to flank in. Yeah, you see, they're going to lose a lot of men here. Not maybe, maybe not. Getting shot up as they go, retreat by the yeah, general here. Just going to get in this one single choke point. There you go. They kind of done it. Whether they can form shield wall, I don't know. In you go, boys. In you go. Just start fighting this general. They need to get, uh, I mean, this is not a bad target for archers. This is the assault swarm. Seems like the pikes will get left to last. Oh, well, the archers here, the new Nubian bows still have ammo. That's good. Is that why they're falling back, the Syrians? I don't know. They're going on, if they go on the second layer, that's not the greatest of angles. I'm not going to lie. Oh, the Falcsmen have been committed. They got committed. Are they going to try and flank around and take out all of these uh, Arverni? It's not a bad idea. The tower's gone. Oh, oh, they're shooting the tribal slingers. Really good target. Yeah, they get their slingers out of there. The slingers need to get out of there. Uh, Oswan, he's in combat, he's even. Issue is, yeah, the Cav's going to be able to come and get these uh, Falksmen. I'm pretty sure Falksmen do not do well to Cav. Can they get a charge off? Wasn't the greatest charge there by the Kushite General. Now would be the time to get the Tribal Slingers back up on that wall. I'd start shooting these guys down. That was a better charge there by the Heavy Horse, though. Yeah, Falksman. I mean, when they retreat, though, the Heavy Horse is going to lose a lot of men. Yeah, this is uh, interesting. That was a better charge, actually, into those uh, Falksman. Still wasn't a great charge. I mean, they're still, like, doing a good job. Like I said, as soon as they, uh, like... And now they're kind of surrounded. This Falksman needs to get a move on. Can it trap them? Yeah, they've got the they've got the Kushite General for sure. He can't get out of there. That could be important. Oh, can he die? Will he die? General recently died. I don't know why I didn't get the uh, notification, but there you go. General dead for Kush. So Kush's morale is shaky now. All they have to do is take out this, these uh, units. I mean, they're going to just try and... Are they just going to try and sneak and get to the uh, Pikes? That's a terrible idea. Don't do that, Dacia. Now you can see Glacier's got his uh, cav out. It's not a bad idea. Now mobilize that. His uh, heavy horse is going to die. Falxes are down a little bit though. I'd send back the fresh one. Where's the fresh one? Get it back here. You can see, yeah, Kush's general's broken and gone. They can just go for anything over here. The pikes are kind of isolated now. They can go and take out all this. I'd say. I think the yeah, defenders may have it now. Suddenly with that cav now support gone. Falxmen are just going to be able to go in after anything. Are they back on the artillery? They are. They're, dead. <laughs> They're going to try and gun those poor Falksmen down. General here. Oh, not general. It's the Oswald. The uh, Oswald that aren't the general. Oh, might get decent. Yeah. That's the only thing that the Falksmen don't do well with. Don't do well with those uh, Javis. Because they only are wearing their t-shirts. Or not even that. Oh, yeah. A lot of these guys are getting cut down, though. This first Falks unit just got murdered. Second one, though, might do okay. Even still, they've done a good job. They killed that Kushite general, which, um, to be honest, may be huge. May just be what they need to win the battle. Over here, though, you can see they're still holding on. Fresh Falks coming in though. They just need to flank. They just need one unit to get around and flank the general. They probably win this fight though, because this is a fresh unit. Yeah, these guys are uh, losing decisively. Yeah, this is fresh Falks, man. They've used all their Javis up as well, the Oath one and the other two. I don't know, prolonged melee though, it's like it's Falksman do a really good shock impact. Like they needed to flank those units because uh, like they're really good at flanking, but yeah. They're now like in a head to head combat. It's not really their thing. General here, though, you can see Glacier's general, very healthy, 56 men. He's going to go for these Nubian bowmen. Then he can go after, what, the Gallic Hunters. You can just rear charge these, oh, Sworn. Melee even now. Yeah, as you can see, Plong Melee, they just do not do well in. They're going to fall back. They'll lose a lot of men, though. Uh, maybe not. These are medium melee. They're actually outpacing these uh, heavy, me heavy melee infantry. Run! Run, you fools! 
Yeah, look at this. The cavalry in there now routing these archers. Big one there taking those Nubian bowmen out. Now these archers here, I guess, can come forward for Syria. Like the Syrian archers can come forward. Take these uh, Gallic hunters out. Not a bad charge. Not a bad. Just need to be careful there, General, losing a lot of men. Oh, the Falksmen are luring back these units. Going to try and then flank with a desert cohort. Good move. I wouldn't send this uh, little no Numidian noble infantry back, though. I'd keep that at the front because uh, the noble spears here are losing. The general is also losing here. Dacia is running out of men. And now you have the Dacian, uh, no, the uh, final armor show tell going in, sorry, against, uh, against the uh, Dacians. There you go, they're in. Uh, did he die? Yeah, generals died for Glacier, so they need to be careful about that. They are starting to rout these Oathsworn, that's good to see. The mix, uh, yeah, now they're actually flanking and doing what they do best. The Faltzman, there you go, they've broken all them. Now they can go up here, now the Pikes are still coming up though. Oh, they get, get, get your general out of there, yeah, he's good. Oh, well, did he charge him? I think they just charged those Chosen, not a bad idea, I guess. Thought he just got caught out. Um, African Scorpion, seems like they're just not bothering with it. I don't know really what's going on here. The Pikes need to come forward, though. Armour Show Tells, they're starting to break. It is really close, though. Kush could still turn this around. I mean, with the general here for Oswald, the, like, the Oswald general still alive, he can still pop abilities for, for Kush. And also, like, Galatia's general's dead. So, I mean, these archers could break at any moment. Dacia's general must be dead as well. Yeah, Dacia's general's just routed. So these Falksmen could route at any point. This is huge. This is going to be the huge point. You mean noble infantry? They're beating the Narmad Chotels, though. Yeah, the Falksmen shouldn't engage. Let the Desert Cohort engage. Very nice. Now the Falksmen just need to flank around. Go for the Armored Chotels. Don't just ignore the pikes. The pikes are going to take forever to move up. So they're going to stay in their phalanx formation. Just go for the yeah, Go for the armor show tells C. This will be a good charge. Oh, they've just been stopped by the Oathsworn. God damn it. Well, they didn't. Well, sort of did, sort of didn't. Are they going to rear charge these? Uh... Yeah, they're kind of rear charge those show tells. Decent charge. Now the uh... now new media needs to just charge down the hill and rear charge these guys. They probably route these guys. Oh, general came in. It's a pretty terrible charge. Charge the pikes if you can do anything. How are they losing decisively? They're not even combat. Yeah, here you go. Archers now mobilizing their uh, mobilizing, firing their arrows. You mobilize your arrows. Apparently, that's what you do now. Now the general needs to rear charge his pike. Falks from starting to break. A pretty terrible charge from the general because he's so tired. But this, uh, yeah, they're starting to break these pikes. These pikes are terrible. Like, they've got terrible morale, I think. Uh, general here. Combat even. Yeah, I'd just leave the general in now if I was these. He's got a silver chevron. Slingers are up here. Oh, they're definitely focusing these guys on. Just shoot this Shotel Warrior now. If you shoot that, you're in. it's like you're in trouble because you can just flank with the rest of your troops. Oh, one's starting to break. Here comes the final pike. They've got no choice. Got to send it forward. Got no choice. And you can see now balance power is shifting slowly in favor of the uh, defenders. The general has broken for Arverni. And now these Kushite Pikes are kind of all that's left in the armor Shotel, and they're wavering. And that is going to be the battle by looks of because you're seeing a chain route now starting to happen for Kush. And the defenders have won. It was a close one. It certainly was a close one. Came down right down to the wire. Co co a ghostly, a ghostly victory. There you go. Um, we'll end the replay and have a quick look at the uh, end results. But that was a really, really close siege battle. Well done by the... Uh, by the defenders, a period victory indeed. Uh, like I said, this one was sent in by Crazy Spartan. Um, we have Levitt Meister playing as Dacia and the Magic Conch playing as Galatia. And some really, really uh, good kills here for like the defenders. I mean, certainly look at like get getting they're getting three thousand kills. And I mean, well, Arvey did get three thousand kills, but we'll quickly go over uh, Mercedes these kills first. Um, like his Desert Cohort here did okay. I mean, 152 is the best one here. His Legionaries actually did better getting 175. They actually are apparently better for your money. Uh, like, uh, like your money, uh, you're better getting these guys apparently, especially with defending. 
Uh, his uh, Numidian Light Infantry getting 103 kills. His new no Numidian Noble Infantry getting uh, 78 kills. And his Tribal Slingers getting 106. So not too bad there. Then Levitmeister, like I said, playing as Gete. Uh, his Cav did really well. Spear Horseman getting 301 kills. Very, very good. 169 kills for his Noble Horse. I don't. I forgot all about these cavalry in the game. It's, they're so long ago since they were in the battle. Uh, Dacian Heavy Bowman, 151 kills. 301 for his Bowman here. Insane. 290 kills for uh, heavy skirmishes, really, really good. His Falsman not doing so great, getting only 78, they didn't do great. His General getting 144 kills. His Axe Warriors getting 100 kills. And his uh, Noble Swords down here getting 257, the best one here, so some really good kills. Then we have Magic Conch playing his Glacier. His General getting 160 kills before he died. Uh, his Mercenary Syrian uh, Archers getting uh, 96 kills. Uh, and his Galatian Legionaries getting, I mean, spam them out, 140. 42 is the best one here. And his Galatian Spears getting 31. So, yeah, they weren't really a match. Then we got Dirty Gaming uh, playing as uh, Swaby. Uh, his uh, Swordmaster taking 31 kill uh, 32 kills as General. Oof, that's rough. His Longbow Hunters getting 135. It's not too bad. 184, actually, this one did better. But Berserkers getting 62 kills is a bit uh, poor. His Blood Swarm getting 124. His Hex has got just charged down. His uh, uh, round shield swords getting 106 kills, and his sword mask getting 239 is really good for them. Then we've got Destructor here playing as Arverni. 437 kills with his Oath Sworn General. Very nice. Uh, Celtic uh, Giant Bliss is getting 172 kills. His Heavy Horse getting 153. Uh, his Chosen Sword is getting 198 kills. Really, really good there. Uh, I think that's the best of the bunch. And then his Oath Sworn down here 372, 229. 348, some really good kills here. Well done to Destructor. And then you have APHG playing as uh, Kush. Uh, his Kushite Royal Guard getting 106 kills, 116 kills as African Scorpion. Uh, his uh, Nubian Bowman getting 175, the best one. His uh, Armour Shotels, I like I said, they, these guys do insane. 195, 100, uh, 303, 242, 260, some really good kills there. Uh, and his Shotel Warriors down here, like his normal Shotel, is getting 102. His Pike's doing poorly. And uh, yeah, his so Slaves and Swords did poorly. But there you go, guys. That is today's Siege Battle. I hope you did enjoy it. It was, certainly was a close one. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and a comment to show your support, as always. Feel free to join the Discord as well if you want to uh, send in your own Rome 2 replays or any Total War replays. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.